So maybe you dropped your compass, or maybe you lost your compass, somehow when you were exploring the woods near you. And now you're without direction and you need to find your way home. So what do you do? We've all heard the trick before of using a puddle, a leaf, and a polarized needle to make a compass. It's a rudimentary compass, but it'll point north, which is all you need really in a compass. To help figure out your other directions. But there's one big problem with that whole trick. It uses a leaf. Not a whole lot of leaves around in the winter are there. So what do we do? What's the trick around us? Well that's what I'm going to show you today and it's not as complicated as you might think. The answer itself is pretty simple. All we need is to substitute the leaf with something else that is both very light and buoyant enough to support our needle. So in this case, birch bark. If you really want to get fancy, you can use your knife to make a point on one side of the bark so uh, when you place your needle on it, it'll actually point north. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now we have a needle. It's thin, so I'm going to use this one because it's a bit bigger. Now that we have our needle, we need to polarize it if it's not already po polarized. So just rub the needle going one direction, preferably in the, in the direction of the point. Just keep doing that a few times, maybe a dozen times. Should work. Now the last ingredient that we need is water or a puddle. Place the floater. Now gently place the needle. And now you just try to give it a little bit of time and you cup your hand so that the wind doesn't influence it. So it's slowly turning. There we go. So now I have an actual compass here and you can see they're both pointing north. So that's how you improvise a compass in the winter. You get a little drink out of it too. Now obviously it's not perfect. Ideally you would have a compass if you were lost. Um, but this still points north and with that you can figure out your other directions. So it's still a viable option in case of an emergency. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well what do I do if I don't have a sewing needle? Well, you can use um, a bobby pin, you know those things to clip hair. Um, you can use a safety pin. You can use any thin piece of metal that you have. Um, you can try to straighten out a fish hook and use it as a needle. You can even just get a longer fish hook. As long as you can magnetize the metal, it'll still work as a needle. This has been Ignis Bushcraft. Now stay safe in the woods and bring a compass. It'll probably save your life.